mistake of buying candy canes and putting them on the tree. And little hands want candy canes. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the wall here. Um, I didn't want to stop it just at the corner, so I wrapped it all the way around. And so you can see there's some pieces peeping through here. So I'll just cover that up with another coat and let it dry. Dylan's got our candy cane. Oh, show them your teeth. Look at it, we lost another tooth yesterday. The tooth fairy brought her $5. The tooth fairy forgot the first time, right Dylan? Mm -hmm. While Dylan lost her first tooth, she lost it somewhere, maybe in the couch or something. So the tooth fairy forgot. Yes, you can have it. Um, so yeah, so this is the this is the thing we got going on here. I picked up some cheap chalk from a local hardware store as well as a painter's tape. And I started on this yesterday, I'll finish it today. And then tomorrow we'll have our first uh, first chalkboard painting, right? Hey guys, it's Katie Six here and welcome back to my homeschooling vlog. Uh, part of this homeschool series and so this week um, I think I'm gonna kind of combine a few things for the video I'm working on a chalkboard I see that it's cool it's a, it looks tasty I'm working on a chalkboard wall for my chalkboard uh, drawings for Dylan's lessons and I started doing this uh, last night so now, I gotta hurry up and run and get Charlie to preschool soon. So I will make this quick. I am going to also film a Pop-Tart, homemade Pop-Tart recipe because we're learning about St. Nick's. We're, lear we're learning about Hanukkah because I think Monday was the first day of Hanukkah. We made potato latkes. So now we're going to uh, make St. Nicholas a baked treat so we're gonna make I found a recipe off of Goodful off of Facebook I saved it and it's homemade pop tart I think I'm going to incorporate that in this video as well so stick around like share subscribe hit that notification button for more videos and I will see you when we get back from preschool okay so I've got I'm making the um, pastries the pop tarts the berry pop tarts so I com combined two cups of flour with two tablespoons of coconut sugar. I'm just gonna cut a spoon. A spoon. So now it calls for one stick of butter and it's gotta be freezing cold and then you mash it into uh, the powder here. We've added the um, eight tablespoons or one stick of butter and seven yeah. tablespoons of ice water. Got my ice water here, so you need to do that. Add seven tablespoons in here, and that'll be done with the dough. Just to put this on a board and make it into a disc. I will show that what that looks like here in a little bit, but first, let's see your unibrown, Rennie. Brown? Oh, yeah. Ladies, this is the NYX Lip Suede, and you can see Bow. it's a, it's an all-nighter, so have fun with that. It's for you. This is mine. And I'm going to knead in the dough, mix the rest of the butter in, Red. and, and then I'm going to make my disc. And disc. then you put it in the free fridge to freeze for 30 minutes, and while that's going on, you can... Um, Start preparing the berry filling. Now put it in the bowl here. Got it. Right, pick it up, put it in the bowl. Right, 
All right. Okay, so the next part for the filling, they call for fresh berries, and obviously that's optimal, but being that it's winter time, I feel like you're not really gonna get the freshest berry. So I bought frozen berries from Target, and I'm gonna use, it calls for one cup of strawberry, one cup of blueberry, but I got a mixed berry bag, so I'm just gonna use two cups of that, and then throw it in the pot here. Hot hair. Yeah, hot hair. That's good. Got it. So one. One. Two. Two. One. All right, so here's my frozen berries. I'm gonna turn on the heat. There we go. So I'm gonna melt this down, then I'm gonna add, I think like two tablespoons of coconut sugar, and we're gonna let that simmer for another five minutes, and then I will stop and let that cool, and then I'm gonna preheat my oven to bake the little pastries. So. Here. She's gonna put the dough on the, the thing yeah. here, and I'm gonna roll it out. ready they're done the recipe does call for making a powdered sugar frosting I don't have time to really do that because I have to go to work but let's let the girls try and see what they think so here we have Dylan's form drawing book and Ren's writing in it right now um, hold on, Charlie. Um, and she drew Cuphead, actually. It's pretty cool. But I had her do some um, things like these zigzag ears and make a picture around it, just so she kind of gets more of an idea. And then we've worked on our letter S's. So, on top of the form drawing, uh, we've also been practicing the letter S. Now, I want to say in the Waldorf Essentials book, I actually am doing two sets of lessons. I'm doing the beginner's lessons of the beginning of what would be like September, the start of the school year. We're doing the forms and the stories and the letters from the, the first beginning lessons. But I'm also taking um, December's lessons 
with this week is St. Nicholas and we learned about him and I've combined the two. And I think it's because um, this week, this month is kind of chill where you kind of focus more on holidays and festivals. But so far this has been going really good. We spend a few hours in the morning doing the main lesson block and then I kind of break it up throughout the day. I do incorporate some screen time because I am realistic and they had a huge love of video gaming and screen time and YouTube. So I don't want to take that away from them completely, but it is not the biggest chunk of our day anymore. So, um, yeah. So how do you like homeschool so far, Dylan? Good. What? Show her, look at her teeth. Cool. Looking good, we're growing up so fast. So we're gonna drop off Charlie at preschool today. I just wanna give you an idea of what we are making for uh, baking this week and give you an idea that you can make too. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know um, if you like this video. Give me some ideas, some of your favorite holiday baking recipes down in the comments below. I'll check that out. You can share them with other moms and we can get a little recipe swap going on. Uh, don't forget to visit the blog at www.earthshine.live and there you'll find other content and be inspired. Like, share, subscribe. The awesome in me bows to the awesome in you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Say bye.